And then our last tip is lighting. So let's get Trey in here. Trey, Trey Radcliffe, all right. Me and Trey. Trey Radcliffe, everybody, from stuckincustoms.com. Great Trey. to see you. Is Hello. that, you're, you're an Arcanum teacher, yes, aren't you? Yes, I am an Arcanum. Is this the Arcanum on here? Yeah. That's... No, this is one of our secret uh, symbols we have. A, so oh, the we go nobody will day. know. So here's the deal. Yes. This is a common situation it's where dark. it's it's actually I'm gonna have you guys stick them for just a smidgen. This would be a good photo. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited yeah, too. We can, be cool. this, we yeah, can use this. Yeah, this yeah. could be my Facebook homepage. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Don't put this pressure on me here. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Yeah. This is a very common like if you're in a city environment or if you're in trees and it's overcast. Yes. So we have a soft source above yep, us, yep. and and it's dark, and uh, and it's not too. It's not, flattering. it's not flattering in the sense of at least it's not like crazy sun, but it's not lighting up your eyes. You got dark, dark circles. circles. Exactly. Toppy is no good. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a before picture. All right. Okay. And there's two of you, so I have to get back kind of far. <laughs> oh, jeez. Too much time. <laughs> I mean, that's just stepping stones, Leo. Stepping stones. <laughs> Work my way saved, up. Yeah. You should have saved that moment from when we were lighting you properly. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> How is he going to Facebook profile this? All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play. So you can see when you look at the image yeah. that there's going to be underneath the eyes. The eyes are lost. They look like dark sort of yeah. not sure why it's popping Yeah. Dark you don't circles, even see my eyes. I look good like little slits. On the face. So when you're working with sun, the sun's there. So depending on where the source is coming from, you'll use the reflectors in different ways. But since it is coming from above in this toppy environment, such as a cloudy day, then we kind of, we need to capture it and do it at an angle. And Ryan's actually looking at the result, right? So he's kind of adjusting that. Yeah. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is going to fill up. What this is going to do. That's very attractive, Leo. Leo, beautiful. <laughs> it's going to soften the features okay. and get rid of those harsh shadows. Yeah. But more than anything, we want eye ping. Eye ping. So let's remove it for a second. I want eye ping. And we can see it. there's nothing in their eyes. They're dark sockets. They're dead. It's, it's They're dead. not attractive. They look like zombies. <laughs> Two crib keepers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But crib now let's bring it out. Let's bring some brains. life to their eyes. Beautiful. And that's as easy as just a simple reflector. All right, and I'll do the... <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Leo. Wait, what, so wait. What if it somebody's... has to be... The before and afters have to be the same, so I think you have to kiss them again or something. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Does All right. Doesn't have to be so noisy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a photo. There's the... <laughs> it's There's either no tongue, tongue or noise, Trey. Pick, uh, take your pick. Tongue right. or noise. That's great. My husband and I, look at that. <laughs> Thank goodness they legalized it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. As our final tip today, yes. okay. in summation, yes. using reflector, yes. particularly on days that are over, um, when it's overcast, oh, out, to fill the light the makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't we love light? Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, I'm jealous. I didn't get kissed this whole segment. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get behind the in front of the camera from now on. <laughs> Catherine Hall is the best. Trey, we're going to see you in just a little bit. Uh, I love talking about photography, and uh, we love so glad about that you could be here. With you, Leo. Yeah. yeah, it's so much fun. We're Thank so you, lucky. Catherine. CatherineHallStudios.com. And thanks, Sarah. For, yeah, for... Sarah Lane. She's run off. Yeah, she's not going to be with hiding. us any longer. She's scared yeah. I might put her back in. Uh, hey, let's take a break. We want to uh, see what uh, Jeff Jarvis has to say about ways to be selfish. <laughs> I'm Jeff Jarvis, a co-host of This Week in Google. And my tip is, of course, that I love Waze. And I'm telling you, always listen to the Waze lady. If the Waze lady tells you to go somewhere, go there. If you don't, you'll regret it. She'll get back at you. But here's my tip. I have to say that in New Jersey, which is traffic hell, I have a few secret routes. And you know what I do? I'm going to confess. I turn off Waze when I come to my secret route so I don't share it with anybody else. It's ungenerous, uncivilized, and selfish, but hey, I'm from Jersey. You got a problem with that? That's my turn. Yeah, I got a problem with that, Jarvis. Jeff Jarvis, ladies and gentlemen, ways to be selfish. I love, I love that. You know who's the least selfish guy I've ever met? This cat, this cat right here. He's a beautiful, beautiful human being. <laughs> Mr. Trey Radcliffe. Nice to see you. I thought nice you lived in New you, Zealand. Leo. What are you doing here? I, I brought you a present from New Zealand. Oh, you did? Uh, you know, I have a farm down there, a little family Do you farm. really? You have a farm in Queenstown? And I am a, uh, a beekeeper. Is this your honey? I have honey? a quarter million bees, and this is some of our homemade honey. How do you know how many bees you have? 
well, there's about 50,000 in a hive. It's, oh, a, it's wow. an estimate. We, we don't do inventory on the bees. I love it. Trey Ratcliffe, of course, everybody's favorite photographer. His website, Stuck in Customs. This is Stuck in Honey. Yes. I love it. Handcrafted artisan. I love honey. We don't sell that or anything. It's just uh, for gifts for people that we and, love. Oh, well, thank you, Trey. That's really yeah. sweet of you. And the bees eat thyme, apricot, viper's bug loss. Yeah. It's a pretty purple flower. And lavender. Yeah. I got a taste. Can I taste it? Yeah, you can. It's pretty thick. You're, oh, you're going to end up my, with my. a sticky finger. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, mm. So you're in town, uh, you're in August, you're going to do uh, photo walks all over the United States. Yes, this is actually a little bit secret, although it's going to be officially announced. Did on, I just reveal no, something? No, it's all right. And we're going to announce it on the blog uh, in the beginning of July. And we're going to do, uh, we're getting like this big rock star tour bus that uh, sleeps like 12 people. I've always wanted and to do this. So we're starting in New York City. Yep. And we're going to hit the 12 biggest cities in the U.S. And we'll do huge photo walks in every city. These are wow. totally free events. Um, you know, the Twit audience is super welcome. You can come out with me and take photos and get some tips. It's just going to be a nonstop party. If they go to stuckincustoms.com in a few weeks, they'll have the details yeah, there. Yeah, yeah in early right. July, we have the whole route mapped out, what cities we're going to be in. Everywhere, I New York, it. Miami, Chicago. It's going to be great. There's lots of reasons to go to Stuck in Customs. Of course, Trey gives away his photography, puts images up on Instagram, uh, on Facebook, on, of course, Google+, Plus, where you just show me you have 85 billion views <laughs> with a B... Yeah, it's crazy. What the it? heck? Yeah, they update it every day. It's just unbelievable. Um, you know, they I, I asked, I said, is this accurate? And they actually keep track of every time their servers have to serve up my images. So it's real uh, accurate. 85 yeah. billion views. Congratulations. But you know why? It's crazy. You're an amazing photographer. Well, thanks. I, I just love taking photos. Occasionally, I take some pretty photos. Oh, uh, once in a while. <laughs> Look at that. Is but that China? Yeah, that's uh, deep in the south of China. It took me 10 years to find that place. That is um, gorgeous. Not Guilin. Yeah. It's near Guilin. Yeah, and that's near the Li River. That's not the Li River. Those right. amazing uh, little towers of stone. Yeah, that, it's karst rock. And it's actually the same thing that happens in the, in the Grand Canyon. But yeah. in the Grand Canyon, there's no uh, fauna to, to hold back the erosion. And here, since there's so many trees and like vines and stuff, it holds it together. They're and so there's just a different it's kind of landscape. So beautiful. Uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about today. I guess the big news I'd like to talk to you about, if you don't mind, is uh, you, Sony. You're the guy who got me shooting with the A7. I remember when you very famously abandoned your Nikon, uh, your D1, one of the best cameras in right. the world. It was a D800, I think. Well, you had yeah. you had shifted to the D800, right? Right. right. And I then used all the Nikons. Yeah. yeah. And then um, you said, you know what? I don't. I'm going mirrorless. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I got a lot of hate for that article. <laughs> um, actually, that article is now like two years old, and I mean, there's thousands of comments and. You know, there's a lot of DSLR people. I don't really mind if people want to use DSLRs. I'm just explaining all these very cogent, uh, correct reasons why I've gone. They're correct, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. But I mean, a lot of these DSLR people are like, you could pry this out of my cold, right. dead hands. And I'm well, like, well, you know, maybe someone will someday. You're shooting here the A7R. This is the first, one of the first, there was first the A7 and, <coughs> and the A7R releases of this, you can see immediately it's much smaller. You're using a, a Leica lens on this. And this is one of the advantages of the A7 is you can use an adapter and you can use yeah. any lens, a Nikon, Absolutely. a Canon, or uh, in this case, the very nice glass from Leica. Um, but I've heard people say, well, Trey's a landscape photographer. Of course he doesn't need a DSLR. Well, that's, that's uh, of course, a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, this camera is great for any kind of photography. I think so. for, uh, for portraits, uh, for action, for sports. It's unbelievable. And, you know, the, the neat thing that just happened this week is Sony just announced the new versions of these two cameras. Right. Which are not small upgrades. They're major upgrades. So the, uh, the A7, the Alpha 7 series has the Alpha 7, the Alpha 7S, the Alpha 7R, the Alpha 7S. Two, which just right. relatively recently came out. Right. The newest one is going to be the top of the line. It's three thousand dollars. The A7R Mark II. That's right. Tell me about that. <coughs> what makes this is not it, by the way. Uh, it won't be out till probably next month of the month. Right. After. I think I'll get my hands on it next month. You can pre-order. Yeah. Uh, I think in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I keep going to B and H, hitting that pre-order button. Yeah. And nothing happens. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. So. 
The A7R, the reason I use this is because it's 36 megapixel. And right. I just want as much Super high megapixelage as possible. Right. Well, the new one, the A7R2, is 42.4 megapixels. 42. Just enormous. But wait a minute, um, Trey. We we keep telling people, oh, don't worry about megapixels, because then they get yeah. really small, and you you know it. it you're I don't know. Lose. I would I would keep worrying about megapixels because if you look at like the the Reddit displays that are coming out, the big displays, there's more and more megapixels that we're pushing into our screens, and you might only be in these locations once, so you want to get as maximum resolution as possible. There's the also, screens will catch up with it. I know you don't do this, but for photographers like me, where I often kind of miss the shot or the composition is not great, the ability yeah. to crop a high resolution oh, yeah. image down is very nice. Yeah, there you've got plenty of room to crop. Yeah. The other great thing about the A7R2 that's coming out is it finally has this five axis stabilization. Now they came out with that, they actually, I guess they licensed it from Olympus because it's in the OMD cameras. They came out with that in the A7 II and it's, that's right. it's pretty amazing. It's great because it lets you shoot in super low light it makes all of your lenses, even the Leica lenses, it stabilizes all the lenses because right. the stabilization's in the body. So it's it's not just handshake. Because you've got the stabilization, you, you don't have to have as high a, a shutter speed for a low light shot. Is that, is that basically That's it? That's right. It allows you to collect more light in a more steady way, right? right. So you can have a, a slower shutter speed, and you can also crank up the ISO. Like the A7R2 goes over 100,000 ISO. <laughs> Isn't that uh, going to get great. grainy as heck, though? I mean, it can get a little bit grainy. Yeah. But you know, if anyone uses Lightroom, there's that slider in Lightroom. Just that. drop that right down. And the algorithms are so good at getting rid of the grain nowadays. And also, frankly, the sad truth, you know, is that 99% of people that see your photo are going to look at it like on Facebook, right. or Instagram, or Google right. Plus or whatever. They're not going to zoom in and see the noise. So you have to think about your audience that's seeing it. You never see noise when you're zoomed out. Right. You see that little 480 pixel right, version. Right. So don't worry about the noise. So um, this is your daily shooter right now, the A7R. Yeah. You're going to go to the R2, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for it. It's going to be fantastic. I use the A7S, which is only 12 megapixels, because right. it's so good in low light. Yeah. But the other thing I like about the A7S is video, and that's one thing the R2 is going to be stunning. The R2 does 4K video. In camera. In camera. You don't need a separate recorder like you do with the yeah. A7S. No, it's fantastic. There's a lot of other new features, too. Like, now it has 399 autofocus points phase detection system, so it will focus 40% faster than this one. Wow. Um, they've also changed the way... We should point out, by the way, right now, you don't get paid by Sony in any way. No, no, I don't. <laughs> you buy I do, these cameras. I get, I get free cameras, <laughs> okay. but I get free cameras from everybody. Right. So that, everybody you know, wants Trey to shoot field. with their, yeah. Um, well, no, I don't get does. free cameras, and I still buy these because I, I yeah. they blow me away. Yeah. And then the ability to use, say, a Leica lens, which you're doing with the body, I've even seen people say, like Steve Huff, Actually, this is better than a Leica body. This is a great oh body. Oh, gosh, yeah, the Leica bodies are terrible. I wish they, <laughs> I don't know why Leica makes bodies. They're, they make great lenses. <laughs> you know, they've, they've got these horrible German masochistic UIs. Oh, it's uh, horrible. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. good, thank you. I mean, you. I don't even think German's I was feel, like using them. I was feeling bad. All right, yeah. that's good to know. Um, I'm trying to take the lens cap off. You've got some it's sort a, of it's safety a, it's a on slider. here. Oh, there you yeah. go. It's good. I, it's good. I didn't pry it off. It's like a childproof cap. What is this lens? This is yes. uh, child or Leo proof. Yeah. yeah. This is the 21 millimeter Summicron F1.4. So it's wide. This is good uh, yeah. for landscapes. This would be great, right? It's great for landscapes. It's great for star shots. Um, some of my favorite star shots in New Zealand I've you taken this one. You get amazing uh, long exposures, and you can see the star fields yeah. moving. They're so it's beautiful. It's great. You know what? something I didn't realize is that you can see 70% more of the Milky Way when you're south of the equator. There's just more Milky Way. You, yeah. So that's why you moved to New Zealand. Oh, that's one reason. More Milky Way, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's a good reason to go. Yeah. Now, the Sony, this is their high-end professional camera, but they right. also make what many agree is the best pocket camera as well. That would be this one right here, Leo. Oh, you got it too. Of course you Look at that. Uh, Look at that star field. That is 70% more Milky Way, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Yeah, that zoomed in. This is in is this near Lake Tekapo. This is actually a World Heritage Site because uh, the skies are so amazing there. Wow. Yeah. Where is that? It's in Tekapo on the South Island of New Zealand. Okay. It's about a three-hour drive from from. You're Queenstown. an amazing, amazing man, I tell you. So I tell you what, this... This is the I uh, love this RX... Camera. 100. 100? 100. And this is the new Mark IV of this. I've, I've, I bought, I think, the RX... 102, maybe the three. This, this is the is, three we're looking at right now. This is the three, right and so, they just announced the four. So the four, what's going to be new in the four? Well, four is unbelievable, okay, because they're doing the same sensor stacking that they're doing on the new, um, on all the Sonys. Yeah. Um, it takes pictures at 16 frames per second, 
which is just remarkable. So th that be that's like a motor wine, so you yeah. can get sports shots or kids. Yeah, it auto focuses all those shots. Um, wow. I think it has over 100 different focus points. It's super duper fast. This is also going to do great video. In fact, what did yeah. you say? 960 frames per second? Well, it does super it, slow. -mo? It does 4K video by yeah. itself. Yeah. But also, you can go all the way up to 960 frames per second, or gradations of that down 720. Which would be good for slow motion. Oh yeah, it's great slow for slow motion. Yeah. Wow. Really fun technique. So you use both? Um, yes, I use this a lot for quick street photography kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, this is primarily what I use at Burning Man, by the way, one of these little jobs. Right. Um, you, don't wanna, this, you don't want to bring, it's dusty there, you don't want to bring a great camera to Burning Man, right? You, as long as it's not dusty, you can get out your good stuff. Um, okay. But it is dusty a lot, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. safe to keep. It's got this amazing viewfinder. Sony has the most incredible technology here. Now this is one thing I hear people say they don't like about mirrorless cameras, is yeah. you're looking at a video tap instead of the optical. Is this an optical viewfinder? What no, are we it, it's, it's a video viewfinder, so you're, you're seeing, it's digital, you're seeing what's actually on the sensor. But, uh, oh, that's these, interesting. The sensor is the camera. Yeah. Ah. And it's the same way on the Sony a7. Oh, I didn't realize and that. And so I think it's fantastic. All these people that are like, you know, I, they prefer optical. I think they're a little nuts because you're actually getting to see what the sensor this is, what is the sensor actually seeing. seeing yeah. Right? And I'm able to get much sharper photos with this because I can zoom in and I know that it's in focus. There's no doubt in the world. And I found even with my Nikon, my good Nikon systems, you know, you're optically uh, focusing off the mirror. But then when the mirror pops up, if your sensor is just like half of a millimeter off, you might be a little bit soft. Like I got soft photos of my Nikon quite a bit. That's the that's the bane of photographers because yeah. while it's all about composition, light, color, you also want the technical aspects to be correct. Right. And anything that's soft focus, you're going to lose the picture. Yeah. That's right. It's so frustrating to come back with a soft photo. And every one of my photos with this thing has just been sharp as a tack. I'm able to zoom in and make sure it's good. So the A7R Mark <coughs> II is going to be a good choice. And this, you have the RX100 Mark III, but we're going to look at the Mark IV. How much right. will that be? I think it's only $1,000. Only $1,000. Okay. We actually, on our, people ask me all the time what camera to get. And, uh, For anybody that doesn't want to go pro, this right. is a great choice. Right? Yeah, we have some camera recommendations on the website. We have it like good, better, best. You know, the All way right. Montgomery Wards used to sell like washer and dryers. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we have good, better, best at three different price points. So uh, the, I, I follow Trey, as you all should, on Facebook, on Google+, Plus, on Insta. Your Instagram stuff is great, too. I didn't know you did Instagram until you were on a couple of I do them all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the website is Stuck in Customs, a great place to go to learn HDR photography. It's got a great HDR tutorial. Learn about the uh, Arcanum, 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 which is the uh, and really interesting, we talked about it last time you were on, um, school for masters and apprentices. That's right. We call it the Magical Academy of Artistic Mastery. I love it. And, you know, Catherine <laughs> Hall was just here. She's one she's of our a, masters. She's a master, yeah. And it's really fun because you, you come in as an applicant, you just want to get better at photography, right? Yeah. And you fill out this really fun form on the website, and then you kind of sit there in a vat of holding. That's what we call it, like an <laughs> orphanage, until a master comes and selects you, right? So it's really cool because masters get to actually select who they want to teach. Every master picks about 20 apprentices. And then you start leveling up with all your apprentices. It's sort of like a I game. Have to do you have this. quests. I need to do this. Um, man, it's great fun. You get critiques. Um, it's You've incredible. got some of my favorite photographers, not just Catherine Hall. Lisa Bettany is a master. Uh, who else is a master on there? Uh, we have all kinds of people. Yeah. And uh, people serve in various roles as, as masters. There's some but, of yeah. the masters on the screen for those of you watching video. Um, yeah, you never know who's going to choose you. It's just, it's great fun. Everyone has something to learn, everyone has something to teach. And very nice. We really feel like we're redefining photography education. We've got about 800 apprentices in there right now. Love people that. are loving it. So we're super thrilled. Well, photography is my favorite thing to do when I'm not doing this. and. You've been such an inspiration and, uh, and, and a great friend. And I, I know you had pneumonia. You're feeling okay? Yeah, I'm about 80%. I was just in the hospital a few days ago, in fact. I know. But I was like, I got to go get on Leo's show. I, gotta, I can't believe I gotta get it. Out he here. was. And I, Lisa I ran said, out with it. Well, no, he's in San Francisco. I said, no, he's in the hospital in New Zealand <laughs> right now. I saw a picture of him and his daughters. Yeah. And, uh, but so you're feeling better, though. Please don't. No, I'm feeling better. You got to take it easy. You know, we should have talked about this before you kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it communicable? Yeah. Trey Radcliffe, ladies and gentlemen, stuck in cut. There you are. I love that yeah. picture. You do look. Sweet I girls. was. I felt like, oh, Trey does not. He looks sad and unhealthy. Yeah. At least yeah. you had your family with you, and I'm glad you're feeling much better. Oh, you know, when the kids are around, it always makes you I feel know, better. I know. Isn't that you know? great? Yeah. yeah. Well, everybody loves Trey Radcliffe. 
Are you playing? I see. I'm, I'm just looking at the notes, and of course, I did not follow the notes. You're playing with the with the Phantom. The DJI I am. Phantom. The two. new Phantom Three doing, is incredible. Are you doing drone photography too? I, I do it all. I love the Phantom. Um, well, come that back thing and, is and talk about it, will you? Yeah. <sighs> the Phantom Three is insane. Time. Look at this shot. This is in the Forbidden City, right? I got arrested in China for taking this. <laughs> um, it turns out they that thought you it's, were called a spy. The, it's called the Forbidden City for a reason. Yeah, you're forbidden yeah. to shoot uh, phantom shots there. That is, That was a beautiful shot, though. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. I've always wanted that shot because, you know, you can't get up in the air in China. Yeah, there's you, no helicopters. Yeah, right. There's no private helicopters. So the only way to do it is just you gotta, just to, you got to yeah. ride dirty with a quad. And get arrested. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad they let you go. Just a short detainment. <laughs> <laughs> That's my worst nightmare. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Trey Ratcliffe, stuckincustoms.com.